In the Utes category, there were just two contenders. The Mazda BT50 was last year's category winner and continues to be the pick of the bunch when it comes to rough and tough four-door, four-wheel drive Utes, a really popular category in the new car market. Meanwhile, in the red corner, the VF Commodore Ute waved the Aussie flag as the most significant Ute release this year. Holden's revamped classic gets a new look, new interior, and lots of electronic gizmos, but the version we chose had one more big thing going for it. In SSV guys, plenty of V8 grunt. In fact, the SSV was one of the judges' favourites out of all cars around the Wakefield Park circuit, where part of the testing was carried out. That was partly because with its 6-litre V8, there was never any shortage of performance, and the 6-speed auto was remarkably good at picking the right gear for the right situation. Being car-based, it's low to the ground and handled the racetrack with aplomb, fast on the straights, stable through the corners, and with the added bonus of being adjustable on the throttle, so if the driver wanted to push the tail wide, the SSV responded. In other words, it was tons of fun. On the road it was also remarkably civilised, as well as having enough grunt to get you out of trouble. Equipment levels were high, road manners were generally better than average, and considering there's a 1.8 metre tray out back, it's a pretty handy device. And at around 43 grand, there's plenty of bang for buck, providing two seats are okay. In contrast, the BT50 was pretty stodgy on the track. As you'd expect from a tall and heavy four-wheel drive, it had plenty of body roll, not much grip, and the stability control was pretty savage, bringing things back into line. The diesel is strong enough, but sounds like a tractor, and on the road, the seating position is high, but has an awkward relationship to the pedals. Then there's the price of the 4x4 version we drove, which was a not inconsiderable $51,000. But then there's the other strengths of the Mazda, which include a proper back seat for families and a usefully sized rear tray that's good for recreational or trade equipment. Then there's the massive towing capacity of 3,350 kilograms, and because of all that ground clearance, low range gears, and four wheel drive, it's a proper off-roader as well. It was a close call, but the winner of the 2013 Drive Car of the Year Ute category is the Mazda BT50. It might not have the performance and panache of the Commodore SSV ute, but it ticks plenty of boxes when it comes to carrying capacity for both passengers and cargo. It can go off-road, tow a bulldozer, and appeal to families and tradies alike. <laughs>